For many UNC students, social lives revolve around two types of shots, the ones made on the court and at the bar. According to a 2012 UNC study, over 70% of students consumed alcohol at least once in the last 30 days, including 65% of underage students. 43% of students reported binge drinking in the last two weeks. At the beginning of the school year, Provost Jim Dean said he wanted to create a working group to combat this high-risk drinking on campus. That group met earlier this month. Chairman Jonathan Sauls says, as we see a lot of the progress we've made in some other areas on campus, we also recognize this is um, a contributor to some of those larger issues like interpersonal violence or academic retention. The university's alcohol policy hasn't been updated since 1996 and focuses on state laws and enforcement. Saul says there's more to discuss. From education, prevention, intervention, recovery, try to be comprehensive in this evaluation. Alcohol EDU defines high-risk drinking as drinking in a way that increases risk for negative consequences, including lower grades, problems at work, trouble with campus or local law enforcement, and physical injury. Some underage students use fraudulent identification to purchase alcohol. Alcohol law enforcement investigator Mike Manier says he can pick up this many fraudulent IDs in just one weekend. But he says there's more to his job than just writing citations. I look at it as a public service, and I know that anybody gets a ticket doesn't look at it that way. In Chapel Hill, I'm Amanda Lee reporting.